I'm Dr Anita Goh. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist and senior research fellow at the National Ageing Research Institute and an honorary researcher at the University of Melbourne. My research is about closing the gap between research and practice and closing the 17 year gap that we know that it takes between research being developed and tested to it being actually used in clinical practice. My fellowship brings together the theories and principles of behavioural science, implementation science, research, co-design, change management principles and organisational theory in a really innovative way to improve dementia care. Being in aged care uh, is actually quite traumatic for the person with dementia, but it's also quite traumatic for the people who love them and care for them, their lo your loved ones. Uh, you feel as though you've let them down, and yet when you put them into aged care, especially 12 years ago, there wasn't very good care for those with dementia. There's a lot better care now, mostly, but there are lots of <laughs> times where it's not terribly good. This fellowship will allow me the time and the focus to look at what's being used nationally and internationally in terms of how we get dementia interventions or program used. What has worked and what hasn't worked. This fellowship also connects me with the right people to interrogate a dementia intervention that's been used in Australia. So within our aged care sector, with our aged care staff and with our dementia community. So really looking at the ingredients of what worked in that intervention and why it didn't. After that, I'll use that evidence and also complete a change management certification course to inform the development of a dementia change assessment tool. So this tool will be designed with the aim of having guided conversations so everyone can have the same language to communicate effectively and ask things like, you know, what is your organisation's readiness to change? What are the, your culture, your strategies, your values that might affect how we roll out this program? The last stage that I'm really excited about is the co-design stage. So this stage is where um, I hope to get everyone together involved in providing and receiving care. So the aged care sector, the research community, and very importantly, the dementia community to find out what we can put in these guidelines so dementia interventions can be rolled out at scale properly and ultimately improve dementia care. Hi, I'm Cathy Roth and uh, I'm chairman of an organisation called Pals Professionals with Alzheimer's. I'm also the proud wife of my husband, John, who was a surgeon, but is now living with uh, Alzheimer's disease and has done so for the last 10 years. Anita's research will provide an opportunity to analyse the, the research that's out there and to be able to pull forward practical and applicable components within that research. It will become so easy to identify the specific action items that can be uh, taken can be put into a pro forma and then provided as a resource document for facilities to be able to implement. I've worked with Anita now over quite a few projects and uh, her, her research now is really important. I do believe and support wholeheartedly her co-design where the researchers are working with those like myself with lived experience. This funding from the Bartles and the Dementia Australia Research Foundation is really important to me because I really believe that all older Australians deserve the highest level of care and services. If I can make a difference in that and make a positive impact on the lives of others with my work, then that to me is meaningful and successful. <music>